Happy Thursday evening. Today was gorgeous. Once the fog finally lifted, we made it into the mid to upper 70s with sunshine for the first time in a long time. It felt really nice. Unfortunately, tonight the fog is back. It's going to creep in from the west coast along I-75 and spread across our area overnight, reducing our visibilities as our temperatures get down into the low 60s. So a foggy start to your Friday, but under mostly cloudy skies, we'll still make it into the low 70s for an afternoon high. Showers will start to spread across southeastern Georgia during the midday and afternoon hours and across Across northeastern Florida by the late afternoon and early evening hours and that kicks off a wetter weather pattern that we're stuck in for the weekend with a few rounds of rain moving across our area from the west to the east. On Saturday it's more of a Georgia rain along into the north of I-10 seeing significant showers passing through during the day and in, even into the afternoon hours. Northeastern Florida gets in on the showers during the evening hours as the we get through most of the day without rain across northeastern Florida on Saturday. Sunday looks like the wettest time. We'll see widespread showers maybe a few thunder storm sweeping through on Sunday. By the end of the weekend across the Suwannee River Valley, we will have seen two to four inches of rain, possibly causing some flooding, especially along the Suwannee River and possibly the Altamaha. As we move into northeastern Florida, you'll see t rainfall totals around one to two inches, but we continue to see rain chances ahead at the beginning of next weekend that are significant at times, and so we may still see some flooding across northeastern Florida by the middle of the week. Looks like we'll get a break or two in the showers on Wednesday, and then again on possibly on Friday with less widespread chances for rain. For more information you can read our detailed analysis on newsforjax.com. Have a great night.